got the key. Hello? Sorry, I will just be a second. <laughs> Got a big truck. Look at my big truck. Three, two, one, go! I'm well high enough. Look at this middle lane. Yeah. Oh, I've I, I just, I, I'm so confused. This one sounds like it should be really fast. Stands in its right hand drive. Because the park's so close to the fence. I've got the key. It's turned itself on. Turn it off. The ignition is off. Turn the ignition on then. Um, do you reckon one of these buttons on the key starts the engine? I've got no idea. Press them and see what happens. What the? Oh my, that's so cool! Good morning, afternoon, evening. Uh, let me start by saying Happy New Year to everybody. All the best. I hope everyone got nice and drunk. I am out in the F-150. I thought I'd show you what it's like to live with it as a daily driver. So we'll go and do some things that you would do day to day and see how it goes. So here's one thing straight away. Look at the size of it on this road. It takes up the whole width of the road. I get bloody cyclists. Look how far over I've got to get just to avoid the cyclists now. Right, we will attempt now to get a McDonald's drive through because I am thirsty. I was thinking about reversing it around, but the entrance to this drive through is tiny and this thing is huge. So a normal left-hand drive car, yeah, fair enough, but I don't think this will fit. Might reverse. So I have to squeeze it in on the wrong side of the car as well. Ah, oh, the size of it. <laughs> I'm in. That was the hard part done. I probably could have reversed that. Maybe I'll try again. I don't know how I'm going to order this. Take my seatbelt off in a drive through can't I? It's private land. I'm not going to go over two miles an hour. And a cheeseburger. Large milkshake. I like 
like your ass. Oh, I'm not gonna do this. Did you not get to the Instagram yet? No, I don't know. Yeah. Put it in park in case I accidentally press the accelerator trying to lead over. A few moments later. No, I don't know what's going on. Hello? Sorry, I will just be a second. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> I just showered hello and she replied to me and said she'll be a sec. I know she said, but I'm going to have to move this woman. Stop, 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 stop. Just hang on. Hello, can I just get a large Coke and some cheese melt dippers, please? Yeah, is that the fair box? No, just the normal one. Anything else? No, that's it. Just one, Thank you. Can I get my order on there, rather? <laughs> just thought of something that'll help me out. Put that up, I can lean right over. Squeaky! Here we go. Oh no! I put my card in there. <laughs> I've dropped it. <laughs> God. Oh. Okay. I've got a big truck. <laughs> Turning that down. <laughs> Thank you. I got a big truck. Look at my big truck. <laughs> Is that all right, yeah? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. I got it. I did it. <laughs> That's a lot of hassle just to get a McDonald's, isn't it? Maybe worth just coming in a right hand drive car next time. Something not quite as big. Because this thing is quite big. There we go, it's kind of them. People are very friendly when you're in an F-150. That's the second person, isn't it? So as you can see, it's quite big. So normal places you can go in a 5 Series, for example. It's a bit tighter than this. Parking sensors. So you might think looking at this, it's huge. It's got knobbly tires. You might think you can go off-roading in it. But it's only rear wheel drive. So the most you can do is go on a field. See some grass. fastest car in the world either. Right, let's see it pull away now. <laughs> I 
<laughs> God damn! It's almost like your car is faster than this. What makes you say that? I, I just, I, I'm so confused. This one sounds like it should be really fast. It's a nice shaft. Down here, it really is the width of the roads. If another car came the other way, I would have to reverse. Just squeeze through there. This is a good example. The road narrows here. And I can't see around the bush. All because I'm on the wrong side. There, we got lucky. Let's drop there. What? Try her. One of the best things about it. Go somewhere nice and scenic, like this. Whoa! You can sit down, enjoy the views, and if that comes down, you got a backrest. All right, so I'm just popping along to the shop. Oh, look at the Bentley! Continental. Oh, I love that green. It's that British racing green. Stunning. All right, look at that, so go squeeze it through there. It's too big to just pop to the shops, this. By far, what's this guy doing? I'll put my wipers on, because the wipers are on the indicator. Bad design, fault, cheap, feels very cheap. All right, let's try and park it here. Okay, that's taken up three spaces. Don't think that works, does it? All right, I need to stop again because of traffic here. Got no chance of getting this through with them. And another car. I only wanted to pop to the shop. This is taking the mick. One more thing. Bear with me. Oh. Right, so let's pretend this is my shopping and I've just been to the shop. I've got one big bag of shopping. Let's try and get it in the boot. Ugh. I've got a bad shoulder as well. On a windy day, it won't stay up. Right, okay, so now we, if I had the strength, I could lift that over. It's really heavy, remember, so I can't do that. I think I get that over. Oh, put your shopping in. Oh, and you're good to go, but it's a lot of effort compared to just waving your foot or like a button just. Whoosh. Yeah, there really isn't much bigger than this on the roads at all, is there? Nothing at all bigger than these. Oh! Ignore that. It's cut. Luckily, I'm high up in this, so I can see over him if I want to overtake. But if I was following a van, for example, I wouldn't have a clue when it was safe to overtake, because you're just completely over the wrong side of the car, aren't you? Luckily in this thing, I'm well high enough. That sounds so good. Look at this middle lane, Oh, yeah. He moved back into lane one. Do 
uh, park it up on the drive test, show you how hard it is just to park it on the drive every time you go out of the house. And you can't do it in the night because the neighbours will just shout to you. It, it happens, trust me. Look at it trying to fit down here. It's ridiculous, isn't it? This is my road as well, by the way, so... I do have to do this every time I go out in the car. It's a bit ridiculous, isn't it? Nice and tight to the fence. It's this bit though that you've got to worry about. you got to up the kerb. See? And then there's a lip on the drive. Because it's so big. It's got to go right up against the house. And it still sticks out over the pavement. How <laughs> good does that sound? Oh. Oh uh, no, I can't see around the van now. Left hand drive, that's the problem. Oh, fuck, I'm quick. See, I'd already put myself out in the road by the time I could see then, so. It's all right with cars, but because that was a van, couldn't see over the thing. Look how tight this is, am I getting through? Well, I think we'll end it there for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please press the like button. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And give us a comment. Let us know what you think of the F-150. Would you daily drive one? Or just keep it for taking stuff to the tip? But yeah, thank you very much. See you next time.